So you've got a new super automatic espresso machine. And we want to help you be successful using it. Hey coffee lovers, Mark and Morgan here from WholeLatteLove.com. Today we've got five basic tips to help you get the most out of your machine. Super automatics are bean to cup machines and we're going to cover the basics like bean selection, water quality, setting your grind, brew groups, and getting the best out of your milk system. Now, during this video, keep an eye out for links like this one. They're an easy way to go directly to videos with more detailed information or get to any of the supplies mentioned in this video. Now, for the most part, you can use just about any type of whole bean coffee in your machine, but we've got an exception you should be aware of. Right, you need to be careful when it comes to dark roasted beans, which have an oily shine on their surface. Now, a small amount is okay. What we're really talking about is those that have a continuous oily film covering the entire bean. Those super oilies have the potential to clog your grinder, so it's best to stay away from using them. And here's a bonus fact. Dark and oily beans are often roasted that way to cover up an imperfection in the coffee. A couple of things to be aware of with the water you use in your machine. First, espresso and coffee, well, they're made up of mostly water, so the quality of your source water has an effect on flavor in your cup. Second, most water contains some minerals. Now, that's going to vary quite a bit by source, but over time, those minerals cause scale deposits in your machine, especially in boilers which heat the water. Left unchecked, scale deposits reduce machine performance and can eventually clog internal components. The solution to those problems is to use a water filter as recommended by your machine's manufacturer. They remove chlorine and other chemicals which can taint flavor, and they capture some of the minerals that cause scale buildup. That scale buildup is one of the most common causes of problems, so we always recommend the use of water filters. You'll get better flavor and performance and reduce descaling frequency. In fact, for some machines, use a filter as recommended and you can eliminate the need to descale. Check your manual to see if that's the case for your machine. Otherwise, descale your machine at intervals as prescribed by the manufacturer. Some machines alert you when it's time to descale, and it's often based on factors like an initial water hardness test and use of a filter. If your machine has the functionality, be sure to enter that information when prompted and descale when alerted to do so. Now just about every machine has an adjustable grinder. And we're willing to wager that most users will just set it and forget it. And the thing is, you could be getting better flavor by adjusting based on factors like beverage being made, roast level of your beans, and of course, the ultimate indicator, the flavor in your cup. Now at some point, grind adjustment is a subjective judgment, but here's some general advice. Use a finer grind for espresso and coarser for long coffees. You can also use the roast level of your bean as a guide and grind finer for lighter roasts and coarser for darker roasts. On most machines, you should only adjust the grind when the grinder is actually running. This is especially true when adjusting the grind finer. Right, that's going to try and move the burrs closer together. Any leftover coffee between the burrs can make it difficult and lead to damage of the adjusting mechanism. So only adjust when the grinder is running. The brew group is the heart of the super automatic machine. Yeah, it's like the little mini barista inside your machine doing all the work. Now, thankfully, you don't have to leave your brew group a tip, but you do need to keep it happy. Mm -hmm. And making it smile means removing it once a week or so and giving it a good rinse with room temperature tap water. There's no need to scrub during this routine maintenance. When you're done, just let it drip dry and replace. On some machines, especially those from Jura, the brew groups are not removable. To clean them, you typically use a manufacturer-specified cleaning tablet applied through the bypass doser. If your brew group is not removable, check your manual and clean it using the procedure as specified. Whether your machine has a more manual-style auto-frothing wand for working with milk, a detachable carafe, a cappuccinatory, or a pickup tube system, the key to good performance is keeping it clean. Mm -hmm. Of course you want things to be sanitary, but for good froth, components need to be free of any built up, dried on milk deposits. No matter what type of frothing device your machine has, they all work by injecting metered amounts of air while heating. Milk deposits can easily clog the passages of these devices. To keep them working well, use the auto cleaning function if your machine has that feature. Even if it does, it's still necessary to take components apart and clean them by hand after extended use. On auto frothing wands, give extra attention to small air intake holes as they easily clog and reduce performance. When cleaning, be careful not to lose any of the small parts. After cleaning, be sure to properly reassemble and fully seat all components in their proper position. 
Now, if you keep those five things in mind, your machine will provide you with years of delicious service. We hope this video has helped you out. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and we hope to have you back soon for more on Everything Coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on Everything Coffee, brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Oh.